So it is 6.03 p.m. Monday, June 26, 2023. I'd like to call the meeting to order for the Woodbury Select Board. Are there any adjustments to our Select Board agenda as published? All right, hearing none. Approval of bills and payroll orders. We are most of the way through those. We're done. Oh. I think that there's one last one to, okay. to be reviewed. Yeah, I didn't get to this one right. yet. Can I do that at the end? Um, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we will finish those up. They're mostly done. We'll finish them up right after the meeting. The minutes from the June 12th meeting have been reviewed and signed. And we're open for public comment. We got an email from Jezebel today. I forwarded it to all of you, but I also made copies of it. And she says her and Alan are going to hire a lawyer to see what can be done with Ocorio. Mm. Yeah, I have that. Mm. That fence is really odd, and it's really too close to the road. It looks like she made it out of saplings or something. Uh, but those people up at the end of the road, I don't I don't know where what they're doing that's illegal. Okay. So we can also talk about that under our executive session when we talk about litigation. Mm -hmm. about some regulation issues that we have to address. And we'll do so in executive session. Robin, do you have any more um, of the agenda? Yeah. Can I have a Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... May we please have the town clerk's report? Yeah, I have got the Washington County Sheriff's contract. Is yeah. that ready to be signed? Do we have the do you have the originals? Yes. Oh good. I do. I'd make a motion that we are ready to sign that. You think they wanted to sign us sign both of them and send one back? Is that correct? What it says there? Yep. So there are both of those contracts. Thank you. So there was a portion we had to fill in and I wasn't sure where, um, you guys might be more familiar with this. Item 10, the department agrees to furnish deputies for how many hours? Like, Yeah, we can't really fill that in. I don't know why they put that in there. We usually just um, fill in the amount of money. Oh, okay. Yeah, the total contract amount. Okay. Hours, we really, they designed that. Okay. On their own, unfortunately. So, are we choosing an amount of money to allot to this, and then they'll patrol based on how much money we're allotting? That's correct. Yeah. We, okay. We budgeted an amount. Okay. In the budget process. Got it. Five thousand, I think. It mm -hmm. was still five thousand, as far as I remember. Yes. So I made a motion. I'll second the motion. All those in favor? And any discussion? Aye. Any more discussion? No. All in favor, yes. Aye. 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 So I read this. Should I just go ahead and sign it? If well, you she gave it? us the originals. So is that what you're looking at, the original? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, yeah. Okay.
And when she's doing that, the, do you remember the bike tour that came through last year? Yes, ma'am. They're doing that again this year on, what already happened? What's today, the 26th? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So what happened the 24th, they were setting the stuff up the 24th and it was, and the ride was the 24th and they removed everything by the 25th. Well, good. I lost a whole week, sorry. There are two here, all of us. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry about both. And I'm going to fill in the $5,000 in this blank, Just okay? Unless anybody wants more. Can't do it right now. All right. Oops, I put the five thousand in the wrong place. Two thousand hours. Give us some coverage, huh? Give us yeah. some coverage. Yeah, really. I mean, more than we want. <laughs> Agreement between us and the Humane Society. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> and this just says for Chris to sign. Just you? Apparently. Okay. Well, as long as you've read it. I did read it. Is that my good of that? Yeah, I'll make a motion that we approve the stray animal holding agreement with Central Vermont Humane Society. I'll second, second it. I'll third it. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. morning I also received a friendly reminder from AOT that they haven't gotten our current state fiscal year 2023 grants and aid award. Award or application? Yeah and it says we wanted to remind you that you haven't we haven't received the necessary pre-construction summary form in order for us to authorize the construction for the grant project. It's in the it's in the process right now. Okay. And Susan Stitely sent a memo down wanting to know the guidelines for getting the green burial part of South Woodbury surveyed. So I sent her the purchasing policy that states if it goes over the eight thousand dollars she has to have the mm -hmm. three bids and all mm -hmm. of that. Is there anything else that the board can think of that needs to happen? So she wants to know how to how to go about hiring a surveyor? Yes, okay. because they are they have people wanting to buy green burial plots. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah. yeah. And what else? That one. And what about 
the 2023 Woodbury L.E.M.P. Ooh. Yeah. <sighs> I can add a little bit of information about that. Um, so, basically, in order to, it's a document. I actually have a former copy of from a different year here with me, but um, the town doesn't have a local emergency management planner, so that is usually the person that puts this document together. It's pretty standard every year um, and the, basically the only thing that really changes on it are the contact personnel. Um, so, um, and in the past, Chance Payette, uh, who was our emergency management director and myself would do the LEMP, LEMP, yeah, right? Um, so right now we don't really have people to do that. I, I did it as a select board chair and Chance did it as emergency management director. Um, and we were the contact people along with Paul Cerruti as the fire chief. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, yeah, it's a pretty simple thing to do. You sort of do it and then it gets filed away and forget about it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my impression of the whole thing. Um, but uh, we need, I guess we just need uh, uh, different officials um, to, so, do the, to do it. So it sounds like it should go to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. like Michael, sent, Michael sent you a copy of last year's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. already. So if you don't do you want this printout one that I did? Is that all right? No. Nope. I'll sign I'll one. just keep my email on the front. And that way if you want electronic copy, I can send it to you. Thank you, Miss. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. It was not filled out yet, so. Nope. So I'll have to do this. Mm -hmm. If you want to do it, it probably just oh. take an hour or so. But. Yeah, I'm going to take it too long. Okay. So I could offer a little bit more information about the grants and aid um, for fiscal year 23 if you would like to hear it. Mm. Yes, please. So uh, basically, and Chris, you were there, we met last fall with uh, District 6. Um, to look at a project up on Hill for the fiscal year 23 grants and aid project. And then uh, this spring, uh, late spring, um, we met with Ashley Andrews, who's now part of VTrans that oversees the projects. And we went to look at the site and we're told that we couldn't do it at that site because it has a perennial stream that's a part of it. Um, I'm sorry, what site was that? Um, it was up on East Hill, oh, a couple okay. of culverts that okay. were, are really too small and mm. would tend to either fill up with debris or flood mm -hmm. over and wash out the road. Mm -hmm. um, and it is hydrologically connected. Um, so um, last fall we thought we had a project all planned. We had a hydraulic uh, study done of it to get mm. the right type of culvert, etc. And we're all set to go on it. Um, and uh, so we showed it to Ashley and he said, oh, you, you can't do this with a grants and aid. Um, program mm -hmm. because it has a perennial stream as a part of it. So we had to kind mm -hmm. of scramble and come up with something new. Um, Alfie did check off some parts of uh, County Road, um, but he never let me know that he had done that, and now he's on vacation. Um, so last week, mm -hmm. um, Greg and I kind of went out on the road, um, found the spots that he had designated, and, and I am in the process of filling out um, the application at this moment. Um, okay. So, so that, those will that's, be culverts? Uh, there will be, I think there is one culvert involved, mostly ditching and plowing, okay. et cetera. Um, and I think the plan for the road crew is to do the pretty much all of County Road between Dog Pond Road and um, Cranberry Meadow Road. Um, under that grant? Under that grant mm -hmm. and possibly part of the fiscal year 24 grant. Mm -hmm. Um, we have, the town has until December 31st to um, complete the project and the report. So I, I thought it was like fiscal year, June 30th, so we were really scrambling to mm. get something in place, but um, we have till the end of the calendar year. That's but first you have to get the project approved by them? Yeah, and it's all, all these new forms um, that get filled yeah. out. You have to fill out a form for each road segment. <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit of a process. Um, 
but um, and uh, Ashley is helping me kind of learn mm -hmm. learn it at the at this point. Yeah. And then the work has to be done also by the end of this right, calendar year. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This that, is by September thirtieth. Work has to be done. Okay, that's their that's their fiscal year. You're right. Yep. So by September thirtieth, yeah. and that includes the report too. But the you know, road crew can finish the work in less than two days. weeks. Yeah. 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 So. Hmm. Well, thank you for doing that. Yes, thank you, Michael. Hmm. And that's all I have. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mm -hmm. We will skip the road crashers report because um, we don't have someone to actually give that report. Uh, Valley Lake Culvert Wait, Design. Don't skip me. Oh, I skipped you. Yes, I did. It wasn't on purpose. Uh, Ms. Brandy, can we okay. please have the town treasurer's report? So first and foremost, this is the last, Friday will be the last payroll run. So anybody who needs to put in timesheets, Friday is your due date or no pay. <laughs> I'll be running the last one on Friday. Um, so you have balance sheets, financial statements, due to due from. Uh, the last two weeks, cash receipts, we took in $33,855.79. Delinquencies, $3,263.60. And today I transferred $15,000 from the money market over into the checking. Um, we received two checks, one from the new OSSU district and from Hazen which combined, it was a school tax overpayment of $32,822.79. Who? Who? Um, we payroll that? today. It'd be nice to reduce taxes. <laughs> uh, payroll, $10,209.70. Accounts payable, $10,827.11. Um, Brandy, Skip has a hand up. Oh, yeah. What's so up? that overpayment, uh -huh. where does that money go? Does it go back into the general fund? It does as miscellaneous revenue. Okay. Yep. And there'll be a line on it. There it is. Yep. Oh, thanks. But isn't it nice? Well, yeah. and the thing is, we don't yes. get a heads up because it's more fun to spend we get time. told what is due to the schools mm -hmm. as of. 20 days after my tax due date, mm -hmm. what to give them. And then in January, they send out another invoice saying, okay, June 1st, this is how much you owe remaining. Well, I never received anything, still didn't receive anything from the education, but we received the checks from the school districts. Hmm. So they sat on, yeah, mm -hmm. you don't want my opinion. Huh. So my money for a while. So. Mm -hmm. It should go to reducing taxes since the taxpayers already paid that money. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, other questions? You said that the uh, Brookfield was not or something we have to sign. It was just they're trying Correct. to get us to do a another one for the garage, which we decided not to, to do, do because Correct. our guys take care of it. Yep. And you have a delinquent tax sale scheduled? Mm. Yes, as the delinquent tax collector, not as a treasurer. Oh, I know, but um, um, that's, we didn't put I will be having a tax sale August 10th at 10 a.m. at the town office. My attorney has picked five minutes per parcel. There are four parcels, and if anybody would like information on each parcel, they will be at the town office. Our select members 
allowed to participate in those? I wouldn't see why not. Okay. You're a child's person. Cool. <laughs> Question. No, I'm just just wondering if you want me to put that on your the website. Uh, sure. The, if you uh, would like. Yeah. Yep. And would you I like am you? also going to put it on Front Porch Forum. That was the one I've been sure. wanting to put on. But. Do you want me to put the parcel numbers? Because I can... Um, I can. I don't think we should do that. Yeah. You don't? I would rather well, not. I, if somebody's interested, either call me, I can email them, or they can come in and grab it. But as far as... Don't you have to advertise? My attorney RD. Yep, my attorney. Technically, the only place I have to post it is the town office. Not um, in a local newspaper. Yep, he took. He is doing it in the News and Citizens. Okay. That is was his that choice. A number? I'm not trying um, to bust you or anything. I'm just. You know. I'm sure the whole tax sale notice is going to be in there, and that will list each parcel. Okay. Yes. So if it's going to be in the News and Citizen, yep. Why not on the website? That's up to the select board. Just a no, question. It's That's up all. No, it's up to because you're a, you're an elected you're, official. You're totally elected separate. Official. Yeah. They don't it's make that you. decision for you. You're the collector of delinquent taxes, so it's up to you. I mean, the idea is to get as many people knowledgeable of it as possible, so we can get as much money as possible mm -hmm. for the sales. Uh, you know. Well, in terms of you know, I hate this term transparency. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we should put it in as many <clears throat> venues as we can. Just, just my thought. I'll let you decide that. Do you want me so to? I can it? forward you. I'm fine with that. It is being published in the News and Citizens. Sure. Yeah. Um, so I can forward you, and it's. I have it posted up outside the town clerk's office. Yeah. I'll forward you the email with the attachment in it that the attorney sent me. And we and can. I can. I can post a map too, if you like, so people could look at. The, yep. And reference the picture of a you know, digital yep. location of it. Yep. Mm. Case of really interesting. Okay, when you get a chance. Tomorrow. <laughs> I also will be taking another field trip um, to the DMV to register our new grader. Um, I went Friday and they refused to register it without an MCO. Oh gosh. Um, and so today it came in the mail. So mm. I'll be going back down to register. Are you going to drive the grader there to go register it? What's that? You're going to drive the grader there? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> it may take me a while. Mm -hmm. Maybe hard to park too. Um, <laughs> with the construction that's on State Street. It is manufacturer's certificate of origin. Uh -huh. So. Mm-hmm. So is the grader at the garage now? Or is yes, it, they've yeah. been using it. Yep. Okay. It's here. You can post that on the website too. Take a picture. Our new fancy grader. Yeah. I actually took a she picture. She pretty fancy. Yeah. I took a picture. I was thinking of doing that. Could do a little YouTube in action. <laughs> I don't know about action. <laughs> Be cool to let the school kids name it, like the, you know how they the had big school kids day. naming all of the snowplows. Yeah, mm. that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Let them name the grader. Mm. Yeah. So the other thing, I'm not sure if there's graphics still kicking around. Any extra ones over there? But getting marking. Oh, oh the sides. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't know. If there was not. I know they had extra ones, so. Oh, I'll have to. And I think they could probably have I'll one. Throw them on. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, great reaction with that. If they were. Anything else? Good yeah. Great. All right, so we will now move on to the Valley Lake Culvert Design Engineering projects. We have bids and the potential to award a contract. I'm not sure who is discussing this. Well, Skip, um, Michael and Skip worked on the RFP, so they were going to look at look these yeah, over, um, right? Did you? Uh, I only had one. I didn't see any bids, so. Yeah. Oh, I only had oh, one sorry. of the bid proposals, so I okay. couldn't really Which one is that? The uh, um, one from um, DeWolf. And um, Alfie and I never really did get together to discuss oh, them. I never heard anything from him. 
Um, but yeah, I only had, um, when I went to look at it, I only had the one. So, um, which was very nicely done, um, the DeWolf one. Um, and I do, I do remember that um, uh, the one from Ruggles and um, Minsuka was quite a bit cheaper. Um, do you want to see these? Because I, I can get other copies if you want to look at these. I was going to say, there's a copy here. Oh. You know, it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't mm. really matter to me. Do you want to um, look? Pardon me? Do you want to look? Well, Go ahead, get <laughs> just, to, just to look at an RFP response. In the next 30 seconds, I don't know. You're not going to know. I don't think it's just reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. when you look at the numbers, you'll say. Well, no. Numbers are numbers. You know, <laughs> I know. The ability for the person to do the work is another thing. It's so, another question. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I do want to, you know, obviously I remember when we opened these kids that um, the DeWolf one was much more thorough um, with a lot more information in it. Um, but I do want to just mention that uh, Ruggles and Nate Sicard is, is a highly valued designer uh, for the District 7 V-Trans. Um, mm -hmm. So, and I know this was quite a bit cheaper. So, and I think the things that were um, detailed in the DeWolf engineering, like permitting and stuff like that, is probably going to have to be done. Here in the Ruggles one, it's just that they didn't make it quite so detailed. Right. It's all in the scope of work in the RFP. Oh, okay. Okay. So I think it's up to you folks. And Michael has the road commissioner, I guess. I'm not the road commissioner. Road, road advisor. Road advisor. Road advisor. <laughs> Town <laughs> Highway Administrator. Right, yeah, right, yeah. okay. I think okay. it's up to you four folks to make the decision. Now, I'll write them, but yeah. you, know, yeah. you make the decision. Mm. Do you want more time to? Look no, at I them? don't. I would just say that I think both firms could do uh, an equal job in the design mm -hmm. work. Um, and um, uh, Nate Secard has done some work in this area in the in the past for the town, um, and um, and he's also like a third of the amount um, cheaper. And he did the when you say in the area, in this uh, area, probably, this exact yeah. area. Yeah. So they probably have some surveying and, and things mm. already done that they don't have to do right. over. He basically did the survey work and recommended uh, scope of work for the road crew in, in um, on the bottom of Valley Road, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and that's he was one of the people to notice the condition of the present culvert. Mm -hmm. um, and the uh, the wolf did the Cabot Road culvert. Right, they did the but culvert. That, which is much bigger, oh. right? Yeah. Much bigger project. Yeah. Yeah. What's the timing on when we should should we decide on this? Do you think we're supposed to decide in the in the RFP tonight? Was tonight? Oh, okay. Okay. Decide. Yep. I f I feel pretty solid that it makes sense to go with rebels. I'm sorry? I Ruggles feel, Engineering seems like it has the... Is that a motion? Sure, yes. Uh, uh, I'll make a motion to go with Ruggles. I'll second that motion. Discussion. Hmm. I think that's a good thing. Good choice. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, so we've awarded the contract to Ruggles Engineering. You know what? Let them know and we'll get to work. Yeah, okay. Will they send us a contract, do you think? Uh, we can, I guess you could ask that. Yeah, you could ask mm -hmm. them that. It's probably pretty I fair. certainly, I would appreciate not having to create one. <laughs> no, I think that they, they probably, probably have. do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think they probably do? I think they can handle that. Yeah. Okay. You want to call them or you want me to call them? Uh, I can call. Okay. Are you willing to 
talk about your activities as far as the Woodbury Planning sure. Commission, please. That's why I'm here. Um, huh? So um, here last week so. at our uh, Planning Commission meeting, um, Skip came um, and met with us and just kind of gave us a, a presentation of sorts or just shared with us his attending of the Vermont Planning Association's um, annual meeting in which at the meeting the town um, Woodbury was awarded um, a town plan of mm -hmm. the year award. Um, so, and the planning commission thought it would be a nice thing for um, the planning commission wants to give the award, the plaque, to the town um, via the select board. So, mm -hmm. um, and I just, I thought what I would do is just share with you um, a little bit of the back history of um, the town plan very briefly and then the criteria that was used mm -hmm. um, for the, uh, the VPR award. Um, but as some of you probably remember, the Planning Commission came before the town and town meeting a couple years ago, mm -hmm. maybe even three years ago, um, maybe four. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, at requesting um, uh, $10,000 from the town mm -hmm. to help the Planning Commission um, hire a consultant to put mm -hmm. together a town plan. Um, and we, um, as a Planning Commission, um, hired the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission and worked primar primarily with a senior planner named Claire Rock. Um, we spent a couple of years, many hearings, many surveys, um, putting together the town plan. Um, and, you know, I, I really feel, and this is me speaking personally, that Claire Rock was kind of the designer of the format of the plan and that the Planning Commission was the one that made sure that it was particular to and to serve the town mm -hmm. as more than just a dusty document on the shelf. Um, but anyway, and then I think it was Claire that submitted the town plan, a uh, finished town plan, to the VPA. Um, oh for submission for a um, town plan award. Um, the town plans that were submitted were reviewed by um, non-state entities. I'm not quite sure who they were. But anyway, um, Woodbury's town plan was chosen as the town plan of the year. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I would like to present to the select board um, for the town, um, this plaque. And then I'd just like to kind of read to you the criteria for um, just the criteria to give you a sense of what they were looking for. Um, and it is uh, very much um, planner kind of language, um, so which is a whole world unto itself sometimes. Um, so there were basically six criteria. Um, the first was originality. To what extent does the plan incorporate creative or innovative ideas? How does the plan present a visionary approach or innovative concept within the context of the jurisdiction's situation? Um, how does it expand the envelope of accepted planning principles? So you kind of get the sense of the planning world's language a little bit. Um, Transferability was the second criteria. How does the plan provide a potential application for others? Um, which I, I interpret to take how, does it, how is it going to work as a living document for people on the planning commission who try to implement and people that come after um, in, the, in history? Um, is the wider application of this plan's components of interest in the interest of the planning process? Third uh, criteria was quality. How does the plan show excellence of thought, analysis, writing, and graphics, as well as the application of ethical planning principles? Were resources used in a well-conceived and appropriate format? Sure. And then four, uh, comprehensiveness. How have planning principles been observed, especially in consideration of the plan's effects on other public objectives? To what extent does the plan include elements important to the community? Um, and I want to emphasize in that part, part four, especially that last sentence that in the process of creating the town plan, we held 
a number of hearings um, and sent out um, different versions of surveys and really took what we learned from those hearings and surveys to heart and, and that's what really kind of made the town plan um, relative to, to the town of Woodbury rather than just having, you know, um, bullet points that are required by no, the No, I know you fought a lot to get that. Right, well, it was... To get, was to get the Woodbury spin of, on the, the some uh, of it was not, draft document. Um, all that easy. <laughs> Skip was definitely the navigator of the, uh, <laughs> those hearings in a very skillful way. Thank you. That's my um, And then part five kind of mentions its public participation and it kind of um, just carries on on what I was just mentioning as how has the project encouraged participation and included those who have been historically left out of the process? How has the plan accomplished? by and from a wide range of constituencies, both public and private. Um, and then six mm -hmm. is uh, implementation. Um, does the plan include a strong element detailing measurable implementation tasks and goals, as well as ways of measuring progress of its implementation? How effective is the plan in short, medium, and long terms? And has the plan been supported by those responsible for implementation. Um, and, you know, part six, I think we did spend uh, quite a bit of time on that. Um, it's a pretty significant part of the new town plan, and it's what the present planning commission um, is working on right now. Um, so part of that, um, you know, what, and I, so I just briefly wanted to mention what we are working on uh, right now. A big part of the town plan really, um, and, and the input that we got from um, folks in Woodbury was a concern about the Wood Woodbury Village. Um, and just it's slowly kind of becoming a drive-through um, place. Um, so we have centered on work to get a village center designation. Hmm. Um, and we've also um, focused on a wastewater feasibility study uh, grant, which would explore the feasibility of actually having some type of wastewater system in the village that would allow for uh, some kind of rejuvenation of um, activity, like a store, a, a cafe, a restaurant, whatever, you know, just whatever might come down the pipe in, in the future to um, make Woodbury Village the center of the town, um, as it used to be. Um, so those are the two main projects that we're working on, um, and then we have gone through the town plan and the um, implementation goals slash action items, um, we've discussed um, who might take up what project um, and how that might work, and uh, now we're going to be going back through all of that and to prioritize what we actually might start working on. So that's kind of that's kind of where we're at right at the moment, and it does bring up one last thing that I wanted to mention um, is that two years ago, maybe three years ago, um, the select board approved a plan to put up um, signs on our uh, different back roads um, to help uh, prevent any accidents by those who might be using the roads. Uh, other than being in a motor vehicle, like bicycles, walking your dog. Oh, you mean the bicycle in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so far that hasn't happened. Hmm. So I just wanted to, um, and unfortunately our road commissioner isn't here, but um, I just wanted to mention that uh, um, it was approved by the select board and, and we would love to see that happen at some point in the near future. Um, what kind of signs? Like, what about what they say? And where Mostly they it's, it's kind of like a share the road sort of thing. Uh -huh. um, but it's not. But it's not. It's, um, I, can sh I can actually leave you with this. This is um, the bicycle signed its suggestions in it. I was mostly um, Michael Sadler who put this together. He's a biker. Um, and. Uh, there's just, there are a lot of blind spots on some roads where um, if you're, I mean, it's, the blind spots are bad enough if you're in a car, mm -hmm. uh, meeting another car, but 
if you're walking your dog or um, on a bicycle, there's, um, it's even, even scarier. Um, so. And I have to say, I have noticed a lot of people using our back roads. Um, there are different bicycle tour groups that come through. Um, those people are biking. In the village of South mm -hmm. Woodbury, I see a lot of people walking up the road with their dogs mm -hmm. or their children or both. Um, so I think it would be a good thing to have happen. But. So that's pretty much all I had to say up there. I can happy to answer any questions if I can. Mm -hmm. And Skip may have more to say too, as a former planning commission former. chair. So the Vermont Planning Association, the folks who were awarded Woodbury uh, the Plan of the Year, is part of the Northern New England Planners Association. So they have a conference in November where Woodbury's vision of the future of town plan will be put up against plans of the year from Maine and New Hampshire. Whoa. And so there's an opportunity for Woodbury to win the Northern New England Plan of the Year. So if that happens, Jane Lord Lorendo has offered her Mercedes van to take the Planning Commission down at the cooler van to accept that award at <laughs> Wentworth by the Sea oh my goodness. in November. Oh my so anyhow, goodness. it's just we're, we're being put up against two other states' plans of the year. So yeah. would we enter the cooler on the way down or on the way back? Both. <laughs> 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. so. Well, these letters are addressed to you guys and yeah, but that's for your Claire. Yeah, you, you already have copies. copies. Okay. Yeah, I think Robin okay. has the original. Yes. Oh, okay. Michael, we can keep this. And here's the box for the plaque. No, thank you. Thank you. This Michael. is very nice. <clears throat> yeah. Michael and I were trying to decide the most appropriate spot the town office where mm -hmm. it should be placed. Mm -hmm. We came up with the uh, loo or bathroom, but <laughs> maybe uh, with a copy of the town plan right beside it. Yeah, on a screen. We'll defer to uh, Robin mm -hmm. and Graves about where it goes. Mm -hmm. That's pretty funny, Michael. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So how was the conference, uh, the luncheon you went to? Did you meet fun. some interesting people? Well, they're planners. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> there is a whole, uh, in my work with the Regional Planning Commission as a Woodbury rep and um, and then serving on some of the committees for that, there is a whole world unto itself in the realm of planning. But, yeah. Uh, I used to be a you know, telecommunications planner, but municipal planning is right, right out of my scope. Mm. And uh, Not anymore. anyhow, they were, you know, they're dedicated people. Clear mm -hmm. Rock was there. Our regional planning mm -hmm. uh, commission, you know, without her, we would have mm -hmm. been in deep trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, deep yeah, trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah, she was. She was there, so it was fun. Mm -hmm. And lunch was free. It's always good to go to Randolph. It's always good <laughs> to get away from Randolph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was it? Where was it at Randolph? Chandler Arts. Oh. Oh. It's a nice old building. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh. So it was fun. Free lunch. Great. So love it. Thank you guys for all the awesome yes. work. Great work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it was an entire town got together. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone was at at least one of those meetings. Yep. And you know, the motorized vehicles on trails were a big item. And <laughs> so, you know, Lizzie Champion mm -hmm. got, and mm -hmm. it was part of the town plan. And mm -hmm. the entire planning commission got into you know, the, uh, what was it, the Enhanced Energy Plan and the Thermal, mm -hmm. oh, the gosh, Thermal no. Table. That was awesome. Man, oh. So anyway, mm. it was a mm. yeah. town-wide effort. So. Mm. Excellent. It's good for eight years. Mm -hmm. I won't be here. I'll be <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> you can start now. I you can know. start on it now. I won't be here. Probably <laughs> not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long am I going to be here in this world? Oh, no, no, just have to be in Woodbury. Oh, I'll be in Woodbury. I can't imagine being in Florida. No Florida for you. No way. Sorry. Uh, oh. I might be hiding out on the backside of Nichols Pond. But so is, uh, there, uh, is there a um, 
preference as to the um, village designation and the sewage grant? A preference. I'm not sure. What Which one's coming first? Or well, uh, really, the, we have to have a village center designation in order to yeah. apply for the grants. Oh, okay. um, Michael Sadler has been working on the wastewater um, project, mm -hmm. and we had two state funding sources. Um, and he was actually going to come before the select board. Planning Commission has discussed it. Um, hmm. There's one that's, uh, but I, I won't get into the details, yeah. but he's pretty certain now from talking with folks that um, we're going to probably need to look for some other um, grants to, because one of the stipulations that the Planning Commission agreed to is that this feasibility study won't cost the town anything, anything at all. Mm -hmm. right? um, and he's not sure if the two programs that are available to us will totally cover all of the costs. Um, of the study? Of the study, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, but there are other grants available. We'll probably, at our last meeting, um, I will be contacting the Regional Planning Commission to get some guidance on other planning um, grants um, mm -hmm. or other grants that might help um, fund that mm -hmm. study. Um, so, but the Village Center designation has to come First, um, we have all the parts for that. We were waiting for a, a good map, um, and uh, the Regional Planning Commission has offered to create a, a village mm -hmm. center map mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. for us. So. There are a couple of garages for sale if you want to you know, really right. revitalize yeah. the uh, village. <laughs> well, I know uh, one of the garages doesn't even have running water or a uh, yeah. 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 So, except for the old pipe that you see out back going into the brook that <laughs> fortunately doesn't get used anymore. And the cleanup for those sites might be costly too. Yeah, right? oh my gosh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so. hmm. Maybe the fire department could buy those or something. Mm -hmm. Right. Other thoughts? And at 6.20 p.m., we'll move on to updates and other business. Yes. Yeah, we forgot the 6.50. Oh, I did. The adoption did. of the, the animal ordinance. Oh, the business. animal ordinance. But we weren't ready to do that, were we? I don't know. Are we? I don't think we're ready. I don't think there's any hurry on that. You, you, talk, you talked about... Sending it to VLCT, but I, I did. Really I had, think that's, well, I yeah, sent it. I just uh, I haven't heard oh, back yet. Okay. Okay. Well, then we're not ready for that. Yeah, we're not ready for that. I'm sorry. Okay. I should have said that before. Can I ask a clarifying question? Yes, please. Before we keep going, so the bicycle signage. This is something that the select board's already agreed to, so we need to make it happen, or is this something that is up for discussion? Mm. We already agreed to it, but if mm. we want to amend what we've said, we certainly can. I'm just kind of wondering like, where it stands and um, next steps, basically. Yes. So I could, or somebody from the select board could share that with Alfie. Um, it was the agreement was made when we had a different road condition, so he probably doesn't even know about right. this. Yeah. If you want some documentation on it, I probably have some. Oh, on the agreement? Yeah, we have um, quite a bit. Um, okay. Okay. This is the one that was represented, was May Use Full Lane, yes. which I thought yes. was a little bit misleading because the bicycles shouldn't be encouraged to use full lane. May. It says May. It doesn't say encourage. It doesn't say will. It says May. <laughs> Mm. And that's the. Well, anyhow, I can send you the documentation on how we arrived at that, that sign. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. So there is, um, within the highway, mm -hmm. there is an expense item for signage. Okay. So, um, yeah, since it's already been approved, there's not much as far as discussion. The estimate was $840 for. That's right, right. For seven intersections, two signs each. And as Michael alluded to, Michael Sadler did a lot of work on that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was pretty Riding the roads practice. and finding the blind mm -hmm. spots. He's got a good point, and I recognize some of those blind spots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's one just past your house on Dog Pond Road. There's a, a, most of, I go for a run most mornings, and half of my run I'm running on the incorrect side of the road just because <laughs> mm-hmm. sure. it yeah. feels safer. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, I, I just see the back, our back roads and what you see along the back roads is a real asset for the town, which right. unfortunately we can't really capitalize on, but no, very easily. but still um, the uh, back roads do appear to be getting used quite a bit more um, by non-motorized vehicles um, as well as motorized vehicles. And uh, hmm. So... Who's going to pass this along to Alfie? I can. Okay. Thank you. Right. And again, if you need any documentation, let me yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, that has all of this. Survival. Maps of where they get left. That's nice. I know the road crew did question at one point whether it was those signs were legal in the town right mm-hmm. away, and um, right. and uh, Skip cleared that up mm-hmm. um, for them. Um, Covert design engineering. No, we did that. that We've done that one. So now we're down to updates. Yep. So, yeah, that's done. I'm not sure if I said that. So, uh, so yeah, we're just about on time. Yeah. Updates and other business. First on this list is application for our animal control officer. You heard anything, Lizzie? So I did. Um, so I was in email correspondence with Martial, um, and I did mention to him via email that there had been some concern um, with him taking the position because of um, a history of like his own dogs uh, not being tethered. Um, and he very nicely um, said that he had some priorities to deal with at home, like family stuff. Okay. Um, and he didn't say that he was withdrawing his application, but he hasn't come. So I'm assuming that that's what he meant by that. Okay. So he's... I, it's a question mark. I guess it's a question mark. He didn't very specifically say that he was withdrawing mm-hmm. his application, but he said he was focusing on okay. other so, things. Okay. Hmm. All right. Um, we have some other public comments. I suppose we can go back to those if we need to. But we can't appoint somebody. We did. Oh, okay. We did talk. We did go over local emergency management plan already. We did. Right. Yep. So, town hall roof, any progress on that? No, so I kind of felt like we were at a point where we should talk more about funds being allocated because we never really came up with a solid decision on that, I didn't think, anyway. Well, we were, what I had proposed was that we could use the 15000 some odd dollars that we have in an account for um, building maintenance. Yeah. Plus oh, maybe okay. put a, I think we had 7,000 something left in ARPA mm-hmm. that we could also put there. So the ARPA piece, I'm wondering if we all could review the list again, the requests, um, you know, just to kind of yeah. look at them and make For sure the that $7,000? Yeah, just to make sure that it really feels like a priority. Um, yeah. I did, so I haven't, I kind of was waiting to talk to you guys more about the money piece. Um, so I have not done anything. Well, it has to be done whether or not it's mm-hmm. part from what yeah. mm-hmm. So there's fifteen thousand dollars in a in a fund for 
work on that building? Right. Sure. Okay. Can I take a step back? Mm -hmm. I had given you on that hot pink piece of paper in mm. front of Chris on his left um, raises that will be going, that will be effective um, the first payroll in July. Mm. Um, so yeah. So if this, if you guys can review it. Mm -hmm. um, Do you? Yeah. There was, yeah. It's basically what we approved during the budget meeting. It's last pretty much the it was same. December, what, 6%? 6%. So raises that were already given are still going to get another raise July 1. Right. That's my question. What do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. You had bumped up. Oh, yeah. It's just keeping the people I think we have to. Okay. I don't see a way around that. Okay. That would be unfair. Okay. I don't know when you want to sign it. She wasn't. Well, oh, she no. I will well. sign. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you, Lizzie. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. uh, right. no you. Oh, drainage plan. So, this is I've learned some. This is really since, up in the air right now. Yeah, I've learned a little bit since our last meeting when the people came and that lady from the Friends of the Winooski. Um, she is still going to be working on the buyout for Liz Hunt, and I'm still not clear. I emailed her again today whether the town needs to make a decision before she submits the application on by July 31st, Sorry. or whether we can just, I mean, they have to have someone to take the property as of the closing, which probably won't be until December. Right. So do we have that long to make a decision? That's my yeah. question. So We shouldn't wait that long. <laughs> well, you know, if it's not going to hold up her, if it takes six months to go through the application process and make sure that she gets funded, um, yeah, we could certainly, but we should be working on it too. We should be. There is a, a um, inspection on Thursday, the dam inspection person is coming to um, inspect the dam and he said it would be okay if uh, other people wanted to come along so I emailed people who might be interested. Michael, I think mm -hmm. I emailed you about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. What time is that on Thursday? It's 10. 11. 11? Oh, yeah. I thought you said 10. Mm -hmm. 10. And you let some of the um, adjacent right. property owners know? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at some point, we might be wanting to schedule just sort of not, not really a special meeting, but an informational session That'd where we notify all the people in the village. And mm -hmm. they can, but we need to know a little more first. I don't we do. think we can do it yet. Yeah. Okay. Maybe next month, which is next week. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> Coming right up. Yeah. Okay. I think a lot of people in town don't even know that Mill Pond exists because you don't really see it. I know. Um, unless sure. you Does you really know what to look for. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I walked out there a couple of weeks ago and I said, oh my God, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Maybe if those buildings were gone, people could see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, a few trees too. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's mostly the concern of the people in that village, joining property owners, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who might have an impact on their property value if if the if that pond dam is really you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. The the uh, dam engineer though he did explain to me that the status I forget what they call it significant but not dangerous. Anyways. It's that status because if the dam were to give way totally, there might be property damage, but not mm -hmm. loss of life. Mm -hmm. So that's the different categories of danger. Yeah. Well, that's good. It might take out the road, you know, but. Mm. 
Unless somebody's walking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Won't be. Not visible. Yeah. Yeah. How would it dis how would it drop the value of their houses when it's not even budgeted in there for it now? But what do you mean by value? Oh, just oh well appeal. if they were selling, I think I just, mean having just, that nice asset there just appeal. Yeah, it would yeah. Wouldn't pr wouldn't probably so not adjust so much. their listed value, but it wouldn't be quite so nice. So not valuing the taxes, just aesthetics. Yeah. I, I think that Michael just said that. Said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like your place, Brandy, without the open area down to the left. Our swamp, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mosquitoes, and mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. it has its ups and downs. Yeah, you're really selling your place right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate to sell, it's mine. <laughs> it's no, no, I'm just saying it. you're really <laughs> selling it. So. Yeah. All right, I live in a small too. So. Mm. Um, so yeah, not knowing what it would look like if they if the dam was you know if the pond was drained, then what? Like a mud hole or? Uh, well, no, we would we return to basically a you know a fluvial system. Mm. It's just it's gonna take a little while. Another yeah. pond in Woodbury. <laughs> yeah. Wow, we don't have any of those. No, no right. not one. <laughs> Well, Sheila Neal has lived by there, you know, forever, and she said it withstood the 1927 flood, and mm -hmm. she listed off a bunch of other floods that it's gone through. But sometimes I think you know a designer could design the removal of the dam, but also something that would still allow the dam to be, uh, the pond to be there, the no pond to be there, that would be, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, of course that would probably cost something to build, but, mm -hmm. um, and it would have to be probably done privately, but. Mm -hmm. Well, if enough people were interested, it could mm -hmm. be a possibility. Yeah, it wouldn't be a big mm -hmm. deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's how the Nichols Pond Dam was mm -hmm. um, in jeopardy and um, condemned, and um, it was privately funded to repair. Re repair and recover, yeah. yeah. So. Mm -hmm. And that mill pond dam would be a lot less than the nickel <laughs> pond dam. Seriously small. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So PFAS, PFOA. Uh, we've gotten some information from OSSU, but we don't have any action plan right now for school. As far as I know, unless someone wants to tell me something I've missed. Can you remind us of what the, because I know they had the study of the water source. It was, the PFAs were beyond the actual Correct. site. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're being sourced from beyond the actual location. Mm -hmm. um, where, <laughs> where the site of contamination is Mm -hmm. At this point, is unknown. Mm -hmm. We have just received a second notice of alleged violation. Uh, within 24 hours of being notified of the exceedance, complete and issue the enclosed updated do not need do do not drink public notice to all users on the water system. You would think that maybe OSSU is taking care of this. They are, they are working on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Complete PFAS monitoring in accordance with the water system's routine monitoring schedule. Complete all permitting necessary and respond timely to department staff to address the source of PFAS contamination and possible solutions yeah, I don't know who's working on that. Joe, I think. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll keep up with it. So okay, boss in their court basically at this point with that. Well we're being you know. Yeah. I guess it's I guess it's because of our lease situation, the fact that we own the building we is the why building. we're getting the, the yeah. uh, notice of alleged violation mm -hmm. addressed to the town. Yeah. yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of glad that we are, mm -hmm. because I'd like to know yeah. exactly what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like the kids to be able to drink the water. Yeah. Did um, 
Did you, you may have gotten this as a parent, did you get a notification about radon in the school? Because mm -hmm. I'm, it's kind of related and I'm just now remembering that I got one. Yep. Um, and that again, is that, that's an OSSU issue? That's an OSSU issue. Okay. Yep. Hmm. And um, it's not surprising. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not that surprised. Basement, that basement space. Uh-huh. Um, but we probably don't have the other, what's the other one that so many schools are getting slammed with? Because our materials are so old. Asbestos? Uh, no. PCBs. What? PCBs? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the PCB issue. Yeah, we probably don't have to worry about that because all our. Yeah, I think you're probably right, yeah. Well, I think we're actually so antiquated that <laughs> it's actually is not a problem. You don't have any PCBs. PCBs. <laughs> materials didn't exist on the school. When the school was built, that's right. Uh, um, so I'll keep up with the mm -hmm. OSSU and the PFAS issues. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I don't have any further updates, okay. but mm -hmm. I'll keep up with it. I think that they're kind of overwhelmed right now with Lakeview. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm sorry I missed that meeting last week. I was going to look in on that. That was last Thursday. It was, wasn't yeah. it? Mm. Okay. Um, <laughs> I and I, I don't think we really learned anything. I, don't, I, no. I was there remotely, so, mm. but... Mm -hmm. uh, I think that that's where their focus is right now. Mm. Yep. Unfortunately. Um, well, okay. the building, the building maintenance people don't. Are they are they having I issues at Lakeview with that too? Yes, they are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right yeah. yeah. Okay. Lakeview is in the same position that we are. Yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, all right. So the uh, personnel policy. I have a redrafted version that I'd like to send around right. for you all to, based on your comments, mm. to look at. Right. Um, I'll do that this week, and mm -hmm. then maybe for our next meeting we can have a final read. Right. That's my goal. Thanks for doing that. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, my pleasure. And then um, the Cabot Road, Route 14 intersection. I don't know what this is. So I do. So. Um, well, a couple weeks ago, Michael informed me that Brian from HED, Hardwick Electric, had notified him that there was a plan afoot for um, redoing the intersection down here at uh, Cabot Road and Route 14 that would involve taking out the trees in our park. And I said, well, that's bad. <laughs> so I went over to Hardwick Electric and I said, I wanted to talk to the guy. And he wasn't there, but the next morning he showed up at my house and took me down there and, you know, Gracious. showed me around what they, what they were, but they were responding to a request from VTRAN. So they really weren't in control. They had a plan, but it was, the plan was, because VTrans um, told them that's what they wanted to do. And they didn't question it, but I did. And So what do they actually want to do? Yeah, what do they want they to want do? They want to move the power pole away from the middle of the intersection over to where the trees are, which would also involve a lot of other moving of lines and things like that. Why? Just because somebody might hit it? Where yeah, it's, I mean, it's been, yeah, exactly. It is, times it has been, it, it, yeah, it's, oh, been, hit. it's okay. been hit plenty of times. But, I, well, Ron Rathbird said he's never seen anybody hit it, and he's lived there for oh. many, many years. So, anyways, they're, they're, they're they just it's want to attack plenty of times. It's been, yeah. I could just I've never heard of it being hit. Oh, yeah. huh. So, they, they explained, I was invited to a Zoom meeting today. And um, unfortunately, I forgot to bring my laptop to Hardwick, so I was doing it on the phone. But they did explain why they're doing You know, VTrans wants to get everything out of the way as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Although this, they think that this is hazardous because it's in the intersection. And even though it hasn't been a problem, and I explained to them why I thought it was good to have it there. Because we have those granite trucks coming down the hill. And anything that can help them pay attention, I think, is a good idea. Um, the, you know, they if they try to make the intersection more of a T, that's going to be harder for the trucks who want to, you know, get 
a head start when they're going up the hill. They don't want to have to stop and turn. I mean, I'm sure well, they could. Make it so they have to put the chains on in the winter time. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, um, I just think it's a real shame that uh, we could lose those beautiful trees, which are the biggest trees in our village, and those. Transportation planning people, they should know about traffic calming and such, you know, if you, the more trees you have near the road, the more likely people are going to notice that they're coming into a village and mm -hmm. slow down because they don't want to hit the trees. Shape. What? One is not in very good okay, shape. Okay, well, it's fine, though. It is alive. The bottom part, I know, has a lot of... In, but that's not the one, anyways. The top is still living, but that's not the one that concerns me. It's the big one that seems very... Very healthy. And they're running to take all of them. I guess I haven't really paid attention to the they're trees. They're only two. Oh, just two. Yeah. Okay. They would have to run the power lines through, and the trees, the of course, trees. would be yeah. in the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And are they looking to take out that whole little triangle in the middle and just make it a T? Mm -hmm. Okay. They don't. They, uh, as far as I know, they haven't yeah. designed it yet. No, yeah, no, they have. So, can you send that to us? No. But I could ask, but they'd be send it to you. <laughs> I mean, I saw it on the screen today, but I didn't get a copy of it. Uh, well, it would be probably yeah. fair for us to actually... Yeah. You would have thought they would have sent that the same yeah. time they did East Hill and Blake Hill. And Blake Hill. Oh, no, isn't that yeah. funny? Yeah. Did they, I don't know whether they were going to send this to us or not, but I spoke up and started asking questions, and and this is where I got. So they, I said, okay, so how do I do this? How do we do this? I don't think it would be. I don't think it would be any kind of improvement to the village. I think it would be uh, the opposite. And uh, you know, a lot of money was spent on that park, and the trees make the park very much more pleasant. Makes so, park. anyways, he said that if we, if the select board sends them a letter, that they would consider it. Well, we have to look at the plan. All right. I'll just yeah. go look at the park. <laughs> See, I haven't really paid much attention. Yeah. Well, I'll get them to send me a copy of the plan. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to make a judgment unless we know what to consider. Well, I mean, the tree is there or a tree is not there. Oh, whether okay. they, whether that's really okay. a danger of people running into that power pole or whether it's not that much of a danger. I mean, there are power poles along the road everywhere. Yes, and occasionally somebody... Not oh, one necessarily in the middle of an intersection. But. Okay, I'd love to see that. I'd love to, I'd love to see that, the, that that plan. I'll give you the copy of the plan. Thank you. Any other updates or other business? All right. So I make a motion that we go into executive session. To discuss pending and proposed litigation. I'll second Michael, that. you could stay if you would. I'll second that motion. I'd like okay. to invite Michael to stay. <laughs> I was getting ready to leave. Yeah, darn, I noticed that. <laughs> uh, all those in favor of moving into Aye. executive session? Aye. 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 We didn't the Woodbury Select you. Board for Monday, June 26th is now moved into executive session. Okay.